team. Here are the details of your next assignment. An enemy parasitic intelligence extractor has taken over one of our key communications facilities, Blossom Tower. We need you to get rid of that data parasite on the double. Our firewall may have been breached, so the Virgin Victory is going offline to sit this one out. No worries, dude. My Valiantium Blade will split that alien bug thing and the tower in half quicker than you can say extermination time. Boom! I don't think I need to remind you that Blossom Tower is a critical part of our planetary defense systems. You need to make 100% sure that it survives the battle without a scratch, or we'll be as good as blind. Ah, Blue! Truly an artist of destruction! With saviors like you, who needs invaders? Not listening! Entering enemy Argon radar range. Red alert. Shutting down online tactical protocols. Go to work, wonderful 100. We are counting on you. Roger. Team, fall in! Roger! Roger.
useless information. <laughs> I don't think they want us getting near Blossom Tower. Team, unite up! Roger! Roger.
Now what? Uh, I believe that they just unite morphed. Bring them on. Me, my Valiantium blade, and alien make three. Once I cut them in half, uh, it makes four. If I cut them again, you're gonna get like six? Six. You've managed to fend off my attack. Most admirable. Identify yourself. At last, I lay eyes on the pathetic planet CHIQ. What do you call it? Dearth? Dearth? Wait, Blue, is that like the official name? Are you kidding me? Ah, did I make an error? I could have sworn that the guidebook says, hmm. Hand over that book immediately. Dude, forget the book. You are someone of some authority then? I can see it in your eyes. I'm Wonder Red, special combat agent in charge. Sentinel's Planetary Secret Service. Blunder Red, a fascinating name. As for myself, I am heir to the throne of the Comet Rulo and extraordinary leader of the space pirates, Gaizok. To my people, I am the esteemed Vorkin Oji. However, since I've been informed your language lacks the proper reverence for my title, I will allow you to call me Prince Borgir. <laughs> I don't care if you're king of the universe, bro. You need to step off our planet. Chugi, what is your read on this Blunder Red's combat ability? Master, I sense he poses little threat. Hmm. Even when completely ignored, Blue remains stoic in his disappointment. Truly a guiding light. Cork it, Bordeaux! This is your first and only warning, invaders. Surrender your arms, or we'll have to use force. Surrender my arms? I'm afraid that is not going to happen. You see, I need them for battle. A righteous battle, I might add. The reasons for which I would be happy to iterate for you should take about 10 to 15 minutes of your time, Blunder Red. Shall we begin? Wonder, Red. And, uh, yeah, fine. We'd be delighted to hear your story. What? Seriously? Then I shall begin at the beginning. It was long, long ago, 240 years to be exact, on my beloved Rulo, 1.2 trillion light years away. I was born the first son of an imperial family, making me heir to the throne. As the heir apparent, I spent my days studying the finer arts of imperial decorum until I joined a famed Imperial International School. Those were the days. I poured myself into my studies, surrounded by classmates who shared my vision for the universe. Yet one fateful day, something happened that changed my life forever. She was a new student, just transferred to the class next door, and I was smitten. <laughs> uh. If I may, we should not keep his omnipotence waiting. No, really? Wait, what about that fateful day? Dude, who cares? You must prove you are worthy to hear the rest of my tale. We will do battle, warrior of death. Should you provide me with some small amusement, I will share my tragic fate. To arms, Blunder Red! Diplomacy has failed, wonderful 100. Team, unite up! Roger!
just when things were getting good. Chugi, remember that proposal I proposed we propose? Warrior of Dearth, Blunder Red, was it? Wonder Red. Your skills have inspired me, as I'm sure I have inspired you. What say you? Join me, and together we will roam the galaxy as... Never. Wow, that was quick. We don't negotiate with invaders. We are the sworn defenders of peace on our planet. We are the wonderful one double O. Peace on Dearth? Well, I suppose everyone has to have a hobby. Even I once had a... Of course, your fate is sealed either way. Blunder Red, I will allow you to live to reconsider my offer. I expect a different answer when next we meet. Shugi, nap time. As you wish, Master. What is this, kindergarten? Where are you going? Dude, it's not the showy special effects that win the fight, it's the team. Ooh, have we just received a lecture on the merits of teamwork from Blue? Glorious, wouldn't you agree? Stuff a beret in it. There was something about those pirates. I just can't put my finger on. Hmm? What is it, Red? Probably nothing. Team, let's move. Roger! Roger. Spiky armor! Now you tell us! What do we do? What gives? You guys are already here! Oh my god! You will not believe the day I'm having! 
is so nice of you to join us. This is, uh, what do you say, fashionably late, no? The key word is fashionably. I got in late last night, but there was this party. And then the after party, and then the after after party. I needed a major powder break to freshen up before meeting you guys. Good thing I made it on time. On time? The invasion is practically over. We have been risking our necks and you have been putting on makeup. Don't go there! <sighs> We've been waiting for you, Ms. Mariana Kresresko, Sentinel Special Combat Agent from the Transylvania Field Office. Or should I say, Wonder Pink? Um, who is this Captain Buzzkill? Uh, I'm Wonder Red. Wonderful one from Blossom City. Right, not my type. Hey, can we save the meet and greet for later? We got a pain in the butt hedgehog to get rid of. Causing this game is not what I call wonderful. A real gentleman would take care of the hedgehogs himself. Those spikes will wreak havoc with my beautiful whip. I think I'll pass. Well done, team. 